all about being conscious or unconscious. So, wait for this. When faced with challenging people, I'm going to give you a massive, powerful teaching about what's the most important when it comes to people. Here, how do you deal with people? Just quickly. What you want to be aware of right now in the moment when you're faced with angry or upset or challenging people, it's not about focusing on them. You have to try to remember to, re okay, number one, to remain conscious, and that means to remain careful, calm, conscientious, and composed. Conscious, calm, conscientious, and composed. To remain careful, that's what con being conscious is to be careful. So that means not to just to fly off the handle, go crazy and go on the attack or counter defensive, huge negative attitude. I know, yeah, maybe you're feeling threatened and anger comes to protect us or to cover us from being hurt or threatened. Or when we're in pain, anger comes up to, to sort of cover that emotion in a way to protect us and to give us strength when to protection from more hurt. So if we remain careful and conscious, we'll be careful how we deal and respond. So, okay, so that's, that's number one, okay? That's what your checklist of what you have to look at yourself for. You want to be free from being unconscious. You want to be free, so that's con number one, is consciousness, unconsciousness uh, level. Number two, the, to, to not be reactive, which comes hand in hand with how uncareful, unconscious you are being. Because the more you react, the more you lose your power. Your job, okay, other people's job, if they know about it, if they're lucky to know about it, which they probably don't know. Other people's job is to remain conscious and free from reactivity, okay? And to free from neg negativity. But the thing is, if they lose it, and they will, your job, even if they lose it, your job is to remain free from unconsciousness, negativity, and reactivity. So that's your job. So it doesn't matter what they do. If they're all brilliant or if they're all the worst, your job, like now, is to remain careful, calm, composed, conscious, and conscientious, okay? Very careful with how you respond careful, thinking about it, feeling into it, clear energy, thinking about the situation clearly. Any inspirations or impulses of what to do, which is like inspired and helpful, positive or healing energy. So it's not just a person, but it's a situation, you know, I can become negative, reactive, unconscious, wide-eyed, desperate and all crazy. And when you're careful, you also choose your words carefully and your tone carefully. So that's number two. Number one is to remain conscious, to remain um, free from reactivity. Number three, free from negativity. That's how you feel emotionally, not the, just the, your outlook, your attitude, the mind. That's how negative or positive you'll be. Okay, so then, um, con conscious, reactive, negativity. Um, the next number four, what you want when it comes to pe this is when it comes to people, especially. Okay, this is a massive one. Now you want to start to empathise with another person. This will help you get out of your box of limited perception into their box of perception. So you want to pretend and imagine being them. Look at them carefully in the face. And this again comes down to being conscious, paying attention to them and looking at their hurt, feeling their hurt. This, 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 whatever, what's this, the fourth or the fifth? This thing is related to compassion. And this is the, this is the, this is the other word I want to tell you, finally, compassion. So with empathy and compassion, you can, you can feel free emotionally. You want to feel sad or hurt for their pain. 
But you don't want to dwell in pessimism for their pain or for the situation. Nor do you want to dwell in like disempowerment as if poor little them, like they're so weak and puny. You want to for, you want to feel the hurt or pain or consideration or care or love in your heart for their suffering, okay? And secondly, you want to feel the optimism for them them succeeding and learning and growing and expanding from the situation. This will give you an op optimistic approach. Uh, this will give you this will this will help your energy to be more empowered and helpful for them to grow and to learn instead of being like a poor little boy poor little girl so that's that's the last thing so checklist what is my level of consciousness what's my level of reactivity what's my level of ne negativity and then number four is to empathize and number five is to have compassion four and five are related and number one two and three are very related but really they're all very related so that's it cool hope this video helped and uh, send you love and thanks for watching conscientiously and with, with appreciation i ask you to share for others if you're interested to help others because it's a good video It'd be good to share to help on your facebook wall or social media subscribe if you're new and um, check out my channel wall, my, my play, other playlists about health, body and spirituality, body, mind, spirit, emotions. Um, and that's it for us. Check out my links below the description, in the description box. Um, and you can check out my herbal website that I, did, that I have for like the very physical, but also mental and emotional and spiritual stuff too, like anxiety, depression, fear, loss, grief. Things. Loads of cool stuff like exercise, strength, energy, recovery and rejuvenation from like stress and white bed and adrenal exhaustion, post spark. Just check out my uh, website anyway, it's really good, hireshelfherbs.com. And if you want any vegan recipes, check out my girlfriend, my partner should I say, her website. It's up underneath in the description. Free vegan healthy recipes. Oh yes, yeah, cool there, I'm going over there, yeah cool, found it. coaching and me and my partner do group or relationship counselling if you're interested and other than that I just want to pay my respect and love to you for the human being that you are and the spiritual being that you are just want to pay my love and respect and honour you and your journey and we're, just remember we're all in this together no one's better than anyone we're all learning from each other and we're all students and teachers of each other so we're all learning and we're all on the journey it's, it's difficult, but it's good. It's challenging, but it's good. I'm armed with these things I shared in this video. It's so much better. It's so much easier. I hope you have a nice day. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give us a comment or email if you want to work together or like if you like the video. And thanks, loads of love to you. And thanks for all of your love and support, everybody. Appreciate you. Okay, bye now. God bless. Bye. Kisses. Where am I going? Uh, uh, sugar. Uh, let me see. I think it's the next one. Cheapers. So sometimes I make like what I think at the time is like the best videos in like the worst places. <laughs> Someday I'll do it a proper tripod, proper sound quality, no distractions, better visual quality. Sorry about that. Can't believe it. I think I got lost. Where on earth am I going?